The VBC has been home ice for the Huntsville Havoc since 2004. Team owners, Becky and Keith Jeffries, started giving back to the community from that first season. We have the greatest fans that any organization like this could have. I mean, they have supported us always. The Havoc hosted special nights where players' game-worn jerseys were auctioned off to raise money for nonprofits. That list has grown to more than 12 now. One of them is the Melissa George Neonatal Memorial Fund, benefiting the Regional Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at Huntsville Hospital. All Chris and Amy George hoped for that first year was to raise enough money to buy a special bed for the unit. Becky remembers Amy making a call. And I don't know who she was on the phone with, but she said, order it, we have the money. A few minutes later, the news got even better. She picked up the phone, she said, we can order another one, order another one. And she was just sobbing. Yeah. And she said, I would have never thought that this would have been possible just in one night to be able to have that much money to get two beds for that unit. The Havoc and their fans are close to raising $800,000 for the NICU. And they just open their wallets and they give lovingly. And I don't know, it's just helped our community. And we're, we are thrilled to be able to do that for the community. Melissa George Knight later became personal. Our granddaughter was in the NICU unit. So was a nephew. I felt very relaxed and confident when my daughter called and said that Alana was put in the NIC unit. Um, I felt very confident that she was going to be well taken care of, not only for the staff, but because of the equipment that we and our fans had helped raise for that NIC unit. They too were on the receiving end of the generosity of Havoc fans. Absolutely, Absolutely. and we know Absolutely. so many people whose families yes. have benefited from it now. And, and we get to meet these families that are the you know, sort of the feature family every year, and their stories are, are pretty impressive. It's a community effort. And it's not us. I mean, we're not rich. We're not no. the ones who are donating these 10, 20, 50, 60,000 dollar chunks. It's our fans, it's our fans who are, you know, we're providing the opportunity and maybe we provide some support and jerseys and a little money, but the vast majority of it comes from the fans themselves. Yesterday, he was three pounds. He Several was, years ago, the players started visiting the NICU before the big game. It would be beneficial, I think, for them to understand what the night is really all about. Somebody can tell you, but when you see it, it's much different. And they went up there and they were just amazed and they, they play so hard that night. They may not always win. But they know what they're playing for and they may play just a little bit harder. Oh yeah, 100%. Oh, I, yeah, I know it does. There's, a, there's an extra little bit of jam when they hit there. In Huntsville, Jerry Hayes, News 19.